1024. Cities of Refuge. This is going to be Numbers chapter 35, verses 6 through 34. Six of the towns you give the Levites will be cities of refuge, to which a person who has killed someone may flee. <coughs> In addition, give them forty to other towns, and all you must give the Levites forty-eight towns, together with their pasture lands. The towns you give the Levites from the land the Israelites possess are to be given in proportion to the inheritance of each tribe. Take many towns from the tribe that has many, but few from one that has few. <laughs> then the Lord said to Moses, Speak to the Israelites, and say to them, When you cross the Jordan into Canaan, select some towns to be your cities of refuge, to which a person who has killed someone accidentally may flee. They will be places of refuge, from the avenger, so that anyone accused of murder may not die before they stand trial before the assembly. <coughs> Makes sense. You don't just want someone accused of murder and the person accusing them just going, oh, killing them. That's not justice. That's just, I accuse you of murder. I'm going to kill you now. Six, these six towns you will give, these six towns you give will be your cities of refuge. <coughs> give three on this side of the Jordan and three in Canaan as cities of refuge. <coughs> so both sides of the Jordan get, yeah, that makes sense. These Six towns will be a place of refuge for Israelites and foreigners residing among them, so that anyone who has killed another accidentally may flee there. So even a foreigner. <coughs> if anyone strikes someone fat a fatal blow with an iron object, <coughs> that person is a murderer. The murderer is to be put to death, death penalty, which we in Japan are the only two democratic nations to still have it, but that's not the debate we're having right now. Uh, or if <laughs> anyone is holding a stone and strikes someone a fatal blow with it, that person is a murderer. The murderer is to be put to death. Or if anyone is holding a wooden object and strikes someone a fatal blow with it, that person is a murderer. The murderer is to be put to death. So in other words, if you intentionally hit someone over the head with something and it kills them, well, the avenger of blood shall put the murderer to death. When the avenger comes upon the murderer, the avenger shall put the murderer to death. If anyone with malice afore thought shoves another or throws something at them intentionally so that they die, or if or if out of enemy one person hits another with their fist so that the other dies, that person is to be put to death. Would that, lawyers, would that be considered first degree, second degree, or third degree? No, wait. I think it's first because it's, it's in 
No second, at least, because it's not saying necessarily planned out. Maybe planned right there and then. Hmm, but not third. This is not third degree murder, it's first or second. Anyway. Thinking, what does this mean? This is second or th first degree murdered. It's not ridiculous. Anyway. <clears throat> That person is be put to death. That person is a murderer. The, our, the Avenger of Blood shall put the murderer to death when they meet. But if without intimacy, someone suddenly pushes another or throws something at them unintentionally or without seeing them, drops them, drops on them a stone heavy enough to kill them, and they die, since the uh, other person was not an enemy and no harm was attended <clears throat> so I guess you could say technically third degree is negligent there's also negligent manslaughter all of these like negligence oops accident murders well the assembly must judge between the accused and the avenger of blood accusing the two regula these re regulations, the assembly must protect the one accused of murder from the avenger of blood and send the accused back to the city of refuge to which they fled. <coughs> so, protect the accused. That's how justice works. You protect the accused because what if they're innocent? Exactly. The accused must stay there until the death of the high priest who was anointed with the holy oil. But if the accused ever goes outside the city limits, goes outside the limits of the city of refuge to which they fled, the avenger of blood and the avenger of blood finds them outside the city. The Avenger of Blood may kill the accused without being guilty of murder. The accused must stay in the city of refuge until the death of the high priest. Only after the death of the high priest may they return to their own property. Yeah, a little rough, but better than a lot of systems. I accuse you of murder. Well, okay, you must have done it. That's This is to have the force of law for you throughout the generations to come, wherever you live. Anyone who kills a person is to be put to death as a murderer only on the testimony of witnesses. See, you need witnesses. But no one is to be put to death on the testimony of only one witness. They could be lying. You need multiple people. That's simple. Do not accept at do not accept a ransom for the life of a murderer who deserves to die. They are to be put to death. Do not accept a ransom for anyone who has fled to a city of refuge and so allow them to go back and live their own live on their own land before the death of the high priest do not pollute the land where you are bloodshed pollutes the land <coughs> an atonement cannot be made for the land on which blood has been shed except by the blood of the one who shed it do not defile the land where you live and where I dwell for I the Lord Dwell among the Israelites.